Okay. In chapter exercise, uh, let's see, this is in chapter exercise three. Let's do this thing. So the equation of the locus of a point, uh, which is collinear with the points, is okay. Okay, cool. What, what kind of question what is this? Is this x minus sorry, y minus uh, b upon x? This is question number one, right? Y minus b upon x is equal to b upon a. Okay, minus a. What does that mean? That means uh, minus a y plus a b equal to b x. So b x plus a y equal to a b. That is the locus. No big deal. Next question. Second question number two. Okay, cool. The equation uh, of the locus of a point which is equidistant from the points from the points a dot zero. Okay, a comma zero, fine, and negative a comma zero. <laughs> really, I mean seriously, the perpendicular bisector of these, which is just this line, what? It's just x equal to zero. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So there you go, x equal to zero. Question number three. A point moves so that the distance its distance from the x-axis is half its distance from the uh, origin. Well, that means y upon 2. Wait, no, y is uh, half the distance of the origin. It's like half of square root of x plus y square root. Or I should say mod y with it. Yeah. So that is distance from the x-axis. Well, that's exactly mod y. So 4y squared equal to x square plus y squared. In other words, x squared equal to 3y squared, right? That's the locus. <sighs> yes. Uh, where was it once again? The equation of its locus. Is, well, that means either x is uh, plus square root 3y or x is negative square root 3y, whichever one is in the options. Uh, next, you have the locus of a point whose sum of squares of whose distance from the axis is p squared. What? I think it's like of uh, a locus of point whose sum of squares of distances from the axis is p squared. Oh, that's just so stupid. Why did why did they write extra off over here? I don't know. This shouldn't be there. And yeah, that's just a circle. <laughs> that's just a circle of radius p centered around 0, 0. What's the big deal about? Why include it in the question? Let me just draw the locus real fast. This distance is p. Cool. Uh, yes, next. The equation of the locus of all the points equidistance from the point uh, 2 comma 4 and the y-axis. That's just a parabola, right? Yes. Y-axis is the directrix, I think. So, yeah. Uh, equidistant from this point is a focus. But, I mean, okay, just do it in the proper way, maybe. Right? So, the distance from the y-axis is just x x is or x is mod x mod x is square root of x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared that's what it is so really it's a square that and that will be the thing y minus 4 squared equal to x squared minus x minus 2 squared which is so there's a fraction which is just 2 times the addition which is x 2x minus 2 which okay this should be 4 times x minus 1, right? What is that 1, comma 0? So that's the thing. It's just this question of 5, right? This question of 5. y minus 4 squared equal to 4 times x minus 1. It's a parabola with vertex 1, comma 4. Question number 6. 
the equation of the locus of the point P, if the sum of squares of the distances from this and this is 25 units, is this thing. Where K is, uh, oh, it's always 25. Oh, that is very weird. Always 25. So that means, okay, what's the distance between these two? It is 2 and uh, this is like 2 square root 2. That's the distance. That doesn't work. I know, I know it's going to be like, okay, what is, let's just do this thing. That's first distance square, and then you have x minus 3 square plus. I knew it will be a, like like a circle. But then this distance being consistently 25 square. Okay. Distance squared. It's got to be something about it that is weird. Okay, this is equal to 25. Let's expand this. Okay. 2x squared minus 2x minus 6x plus 8x plus 10 and then 2y squared 2 plus 4 6 minus 12 y plus 4 plus 16 which is 20 equal to 25 cool this thing is 30 that goes here so it's 5 uh, this is weird. So x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y plus 5 upon 2 equal to 0. So k should be uh, 5 upon 2. So 6, 5 upon 2. Okay, question number 7. The ends of hypotenuse of the right angle triangle are this and this. The locus of its third vertex. Yeah, containing right angle is x squared plus y squared equal to. You know these are going to be diametrical ends, right? 0, 6 and 6, 0. So, okay. It's just x minus 0 into x minus 6 plus y minus 0 into y minus 6 equal to 0. So, x squared plus y squared equal to 6 times of x plus y. K is 6. Cool. Next, a point moves so that the difference of ah come on. A point moves so that the difference of uh, the squares of a distance from two points. The difference of the squares of the distance from two points is constant. Ah, fine. The equation of its locus is uh yeah. Let's do this thing. And um, okay, this might be different. Yeah, it's like we are considering mod over there or something. Let's just think of it. So it's x minus a squared plus y squared minus x plus a squared minus y squared, right? Or you can say it's plus over here and minus over here, whichever one works. And this is equal to 2k square. This cancels. And the difference is 2a addition 2x. Yeah. So just 4ax equal to 2k square. k squared equal to 2ax. That's it. x equal to k squared upon 2a. That's the whole thing. This looks weird, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It sure does. That's how it is. It's a line. It's just a line. How can that... How can this be a line? Oh yeah, this makes sense. This definitely does make sense. Because... When you got these two things, you got this line like this. Call this thing A, call this thing B, call this thing X, Y, H. So A squared minus B squared, that is the same thing as X squared plus H squared minus 
y squared plus x squared, which is x squared minus y squared. So it turns out that this thing will always be a constant for a line, right? Cool. So yes, what what was this question number? Um, question number eight. So the equation is x equal to k squared upon two a. All right. Next question. The locus of point whose distance from three comma two is twice its distance from one comma one. Uh, distance from three comma two. What are these questions? These are uh, much easier than what I was expecting. So this distance is twice its distance from. I mean, I know it's going to be a circle because it's an Apollonian uh, circle thing. But still, let's just do this thing. So twice square root of x minus 1 square plus y minus 1 square. In fact, you know what? Just to demonstrate that uh, this is a circle, we can actually, uh, yeah, I can try to find it by so like 3, 2 and 1, 1. What you're saying is locus of point whose distance from 3, uh, 2 is twice the uh, distance from this guy, right? So there you go. This is one of the diametrical ends, is to one ratio, angle bisect to theorem stuff. Uh -huh -huh. Right? I mean, wherever the angle bisector uh, goes, it, it has this two is to one thing. Right? And for the external angle bisector, it would be something like this. Isn't that correct? It's bisecting these angles. Right, so that angle bisector, that will hit it somewhere over here and it will externally uh, divide this line in the ratio uh, 2 is to 1. So this will be 2 times, this will be 1. Right. So how do you find this, guys? Is 1 times one times this point and then two times this point so that's this is just five comma four upon two and that will be five by two comma two so this point is five by two comma two and this point for for this guy uh this is two but this is now negative one if you will so negative one times three comma two that that will be negative three comma negative two plus 2 times of this guy which is just 2 comma 2 that thing upon oh shit it should be 3 this also should be 3 so this is 5 comma 4 upon 3 I think right this is 5 third comma 4 third that's what this point is okay and what about this guy uh, this thing is negative 1 0 and 3 which is negative 1 upon 3 comma 0 so that means uh, the center of this thing that will be four third, okay, half of that, right? So two third, two third. So what I'm going to bet is that the center is two third, two third. Let's see if that is the case. Square this, so just get x squared. Or you could just do it like this, that x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equal to well, 2 times x squared 2 x minus 2 squared plus 2 y minus 2 squared and then bring these in this will be subtract x minus 5 no x minus 1 and then add so 3x minus 5 that goes there it becomes y times 3y minus 4 equal to 0 this will be 3x squared minus 5x minus 3x which is minus 8x plus 5 and then 3y squared minus 4y equal to 0 so x squared 
plus y squared minus 8 third x minus wait 4 third y plus 5 third okay so this is a uh, 4 third and 2 third for some reason why is this 4 third huh did I do it correctly though okay I can't go that back <sighs> negative 3 x and then negative 5 x so it's definitely negative 8 x right Subtracted, that should be x minus 1 added, 3x minus 5. So that means my <laughs> bet was wrong. No, I did some kind of mistake over there. Right. What was it once again? Let's just do it once again. You know? I have to prove this now because, yeah, this point was 3, 2 and this point was 1, comma 1. Man, I shouldn't have said this first because now I have to prove this. And it might take very long amount of time. So this is like two is to one. So one times that, two times that, it should be five upon three and four upon three. That's what this point is. And for this guy, this will be two times of this. So two comma two, but now minus one of that. So negative one zero and that upon three. So this will be negative one comma negative one upon three. Huh? That's weird. Oh no, oh no, it's not 3 anymore. The denominator is the denominator is 1 now. So it's now this thing is 2, this thing is negative 1 if you want that, right? Uh, then it's gonna be negative 1 times this thing, which is negative 3, negative 2, plus 2, comma 2, and all of that upon 1. So this will be negative 1, comma 0, just like that. And now the average of these two, that will be so 5 by 3 minus 1, that is. 2 by 3 huh wait what all right okay this is and what did this give us though just put this side and what it gave us was uh oh, come on now it's getting complicated why did I even start this? So 2 times of x minus 2 minus okay, squared minus of x minus 3 squared plus 2 y minus 2 squared minus okay shit. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Why do it the more complicated way when you could have done this the easier way? This is x plus 1 because subtract yes wait wait but before that it was negative one why is this now uh positive one this is in fact positive one okay and that was wrong as well <laughs> and when you add this get 3x plus 5 and this is okay all of this added up to zero so y into 3y minus 4 and this will be 3x squared and then 3x minus 5x. So x squared plus y squared minus 2 third of x minus 4 third of y equal to 5 third. As you can see, half of this is just 1 third, this is 2 third, exactly what we wanted. I shouldn't have said that it took me so long to prove. Uh, yeah, so that's how it is. Next, we want the tenth question. The equation of the locus of points which moves so that uh, the sum of its distance from the points, this point and that point, is a. Ah, that is an ellipse. It's just an ellipse, really. It's an ellipse with a equal to three. Wait, what? No, sorry, AE equal to 3 and A equal to 4. So E equal to 3 by 4. So B is A square root of 1 minus E squared, which is 4 square root of 1 minus well, 3 square upon 4 square, basically, which is square root of 4 minus 3 square, 16 minus 9, square root of 7, 
So the whole thing is just x squared upon 16 plus y squared upon 7 equal to 1. That is the equation, but we should be doing this the proper way. So I will do it like that. Uh, which question was this once again? 10th. So the sum is 8, right? So square root of x squared plus y. Oh, so it's along y. Uh, I took it along x in that case. So no, no worries, just switch this. Just switch the x, y. That would work, right? In the equation that I previously did. So y minus 3 squared plus square root of x squared plus y plus 3 squared equal to 8 squared. Okay, equal to 8, just 8. Uh, okay. Now what? You could try squaring this. That's not a good idea, actually. Ah. This way, the equation will be really hard to find, actually. Oh, come on. But you just have to do it. Just have to. Hmm. Maybe try rationalizing. This. Oh, yeah. They could be trying rationalizing this. That's gonna give us like y and stuff. Ah, that's just as complicated as it can ever be. Mm -hmm. That's very complicated actually. So now what do we do? Yeah, just put that in there and like do that. So so this will be like x squared plus y plus 3 squared equal to 8 squared plus x squared plus y minus 3 squared plus 16 square root of x squared plus y minus 3 squared. Right. So just pull that here and then square it. Okay. This is bad. x squared gets cancelled. Got 8 squared with it. That goes there. So subtraction. Well, first of all, addition. Addition is 2 point. Subtraction is 6. So it's 12. 12 by equal to 64 plus 16 square root of x squared plus y minus 3 squared. Uh, divide by 4. So it's like 3, 5 minus 16 equal to 4 square root of x squared plus y minus 3 squared. And now square this once again. Wow. Real nice. 3 y squared, <laughs> 3 y squared plus 64. No, not 64. 16 squared is 256. Then 32 into 3, which is minus 96. Uh, yes. 16 times all that. So 16x squared plus 16y squared minus 16 times 6, which is 96y plus 9 times 4, which is 36. So this cancels. So wait a second. Uh, yeah, that was fine. So, <laughs> what was I doing? Thing? Right, so 256 minus 36, that is 219, I think. Am I doing it correctly? Who knows? Nine times four, that was the full thing. Oh no, nine times 60. Shit. 16y squared, 16 times 6, 16 times 9, not 4 times 9. 16 times 9 is 9 and 36, like 126, I think. Wait, what? 16 times, no, 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 16 times 9, that is 3 squared and 4 squared, plus 144. Uh, yes, so 256 minus 144, that will be 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2 equal to, uh, 16x squared plus okay what's this 7 no but that's what it is 7 y squared how can that be that's how it is 1 1 2 huh 16 times 7 that's 7 and oh bad 7 and 42, that is 112, yes, but 
okay whatever x squared upon 7 plus y squared upon 16 equal to 1 so you remember we got exactly this thing except x and y switched yeah yeah just just switch them and you get this equation that's the thing uh next question number 11 let a and a dash be points this and this the equation of the locus of all points such that this magnitude is 8 is oh come on it's a hyperbola i believe right ah okay fine so you just have to do it square root of let's just talk about the uh, right part of the hyperbola which will be x uh, plus 5 plus y squared all right cool so put that in there And then square this. Squaring this, just have uh, x plus five squared. Well, that minus x minus five squared is gonna be there anyway. So you know, uh, it's just four times five times x, which is twenty x. That is equal to sixty four plus sixteen square root of x minus five squared plus y squared divide by 20 once again 5x minus 16 equal to 4 square root of x minus 5 squared plus y squared and then square this so this will be 25 x squared plus 256 minus uh minus 160 x okay equal to 16 times all of this so 16 y squared plus 16 x squared 16 times minus 10 that's minus 160x 16 times 25 that's 4 squared times 5 squared which is 20 squared so it's 400 <sighs> all right so uh this cancels and 25x squared minus 16x squared which is 9x squared 9x squared plus oh that that's a really good it's like 16y squared uh 10 x squared equals 16 y squared plus oh why is this closing down all the time 4 and 9 minus 5 is just 4 and 3 minus 2 is 1 there we go so 9 x squared minus 16 y squared equal to 144 in other words x squared upon 16 minus y squared upon 9 equal to 1 that is the equation which is a hyperbola by the way oh we don't want the answers we don't want the answers uh which question will be doing yeah 11 12. find the equation of the locus sum of whose distances from coordinate x is, is unity what oh you mean mod x plus mod y equal to one well i can draw the locus but you want like the equation for this uh hmm. well that's weird what is this mod y equal to one you want the equation for this locus how am i supposed to make that happen uh all i can say is that the simplest form is just mod x plus mod y equal to one yeah That's just how it is. Nothing else that we can change about it. Actually, we can. It's not that complicated, right? It's a square or something. So let's try. Let's see if we get something out of it. Uh, so x squared equal to one minus mod y squared, which is one minus two mod y plus y squared. Oh, this is going to be really bad. You don't need to do it like that, right? Okay, whatever. 
x square minus y square minus 1 is negative 2 mod y. I mean, you lose all these specificities that and it will just give us like four lines. That's not what we want. You, it will become less specific than what this is. So that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, idea in any way. Yeah. This is the this is the best thing that we can actually give up. So instead of giving a fourth degree quadratic, sorry, a fourth degree uh, equation, which doesn't even provide a, a close, I mean, uh, what, what do I call it? A tight condition, instead of giving that, you, you could just give this, right? This looks much more cleaner, better, whatever. Question number 13. Let A be a point on X axis and B on Y axis such that A B is one times what is this one dot oh it's just one okay A B is one hmm. locus of the midpoint of A B is so it's more like a stick is like a stick is uh resting on a wall and then it slides something like this what does this locus uh, what does this midpoint place out? Something like that. So it's a good physics question if you ask me. Uh, yeah, so how do we do this thing? So you know that these two, these guys, right? And let's say this thing is x, this thing is y. So you know x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Actually, no, we should say it's 2x and 2x then to y because we will call this guy as x and y right so it's better to call this as 2x and 2y so that means 2x squared plus 2y squared equal to 1 x squared plus y squared equal to 1 upon 4 it just traces out a circle and that's weird that definitely is weird but that's how it is yeah I don't care. Why should it be a circle of all things? There's no like physical reason behind it. Like this distance is oh yeah, that makes sense, of course. This distance is always constant because look at that, these two are diametrical ends, and then you have this circle over there, that means and this length is equal to this length, and it's it's half, so this is also half and this distance is always 1 by 2. That means it's on a circle. <laughs> you don't need physical uh, reasons all the time. It's pretty simple actually. So it's pretty much just 4x squared plus 4y squared equal to 1. That's the locus. This is a circle basically. Okay, where were we? Uh, locus of midpoint of AB. Well, that's done. Question number 14. Let A and B be these two points such that the area of triangle ABC is 2 unit square. <sighs> Locus of C is, oh, A and B are just two given points and area of triangle ABC is 2 unit square. Locus of C is. So you know one side, uh, you can always figure out what's the distance of C from this line AB. So you know you will know height in that case and then you can figure out everything basically so it's just height is some constant we know c is going to lie on a line parallel to a b like that so it's not that hard to find it but so should i give you a more i don't know casual description or a formal whatever just do this thing what's the line i'm gonna give you the whole thing now so just y upon x the line is uh, y upon x equal to 1. Well, it's 1 comma 1, so it's just 1 like that. y minus x equal to 0, that is the line. The whole thing is that the distance is more of y minus x upon square root 2. So the distance of this point from that line, that's that's this thing. Okay. This distance is our, is our height. So half of this guy times the base, which is square root 2. That is the area, and the area is 2. That means mod of minus x is 
4 basically so either y uh, equal to x plus 4 or y equal to x minus 4 that's it that's how you can write this as a pair of straight lines in fact so you can say uh, just write it as x minus y actually so this will be x minus y minus 4 into x minus y plus 4 equal to 0 or you can just say yeah instead of writing all of this just square square this right that will capture everything so it's just x square minus 2xy plus y squared equal to 4 that's what the equation is this is the pair of straight lines cool that's it uh question of 14 and now question of 15 is two of the vertices so 15 two of the vertices of triangle abc are given centroid moves on curve xy equal to 1 that locus of c is mm -hmm -hmm. what is the centroid really it's just x uh well c is xy centroid is x plus 2 no not 2 x plus 3 okay upon 3 and y plus 3 upon 3 right and this moves on this curve that means well x coordinate times y coordinate equal to 1 so x squared plus 3x plus 3y plus 9 equal to 9 there we go this cancels that's the that's the thing it's just x squared plus 3x plus 3y equal to 0 that's a weird equation oh it's not x squared it's x y sorry it should be x y So it's x y plus 3 x plus 3 y equal to 0. There we go. That is the equation. Okay. So 15 is done. Let's check. Yep. This is correct. It's correct. 14 is mod of x minus y equal. Hey, you could write it like that. Why didn't you tell me? Because, okay, I mean, both of these are actually the same thing. So it doesn't matter. Yep, that's correct. And this is also correct. So, question number 11 is an hyperbola, is expected. Question number 10, yes, this is correct. What's the answer? Ah, this point. 1 by 3, comma, uh, this is question number 9. We don't want this. What did we want? Oh, you want uh, the whole locus. Mm -hmm. All right. So the whole locus is 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 2x minus 4y minus 5 equals 0. Well, then this is correct, of course. Question number 8. Plus minus k squared. Uh, Y would be plus minus k square upon 2a. I mean, we got this thing. Why it should be plus minus though? I don't understand this. Oh, okay. So, uh, it should be more, more of that. And that's why this is plus or minus. Both work. Uh, let us explain this. Right. <laughs> so yes, it should be plus or minus. Uh, okay, so it So did I do this incorrectly? Not really. I just wanna put a question mark and correct or wrong. Whatever. Question number seven. Six. Yes, that's correct. And five upon two, and then where is question number four? Oh yeah, this is actually right. Uh, option of 5 is this guy, which is basically y minus 4 squared equal to 4x. 4x minus 1. Well, yeah, then this is correct. I just wrote it in the more standard form for a parabola. Question number 5 is done. Question number 4. Well, that's also done. Question number 3, x squared equal to 3y squared. That's correct. X equal to zero. Then 
this guy uh, yeah it's the same thing okay so that's it let's see you guys in the next video bye